Hey everybody, we are at some water here. Take a look at that out there. We're gonna fish it. We're gonna hopefully bring in a fish because the last several times I've been here, it's been no luck. Um, it's been pretty bad. So we're gonna strap in and see what we can do. See you on the water. Okay, we are moving fast. We're getting out there. I'm gonna grab the bag. We've got some plastics on the bag. There's one of the surprises that if we get desperate, we'll throw that. It'll be ridiculous, but it'll be fun. Um, it's been a grind, guys. But yesterday was 40s, mid 40s. Today it's at least 60. So hopes are a little bit higher. We have yet to land anything on the new rigs, the new combos here. Um, so we've got our spinning combo, our new one. We've got our new casting combo there as well. And then, of course, we have the, uh, the Luz that you guys actually probably haven't seen because I haven't posted any of those videos, but I've been using it for a little over a year. We've got a little spin bait on this spinning reel. Here we go. It's uh, chartreuse gold. We'll see what that does. Just gonna buzz that in. See what we can work up. I'll take anything. I'll take bass, I'll take bluegill. There's supposed to be crappie in here, this little pond. Um, according to Fish Brain, I think it's bass, bluegill, and crappie. Maybe a catfish? Texas rig, one of these little thousand fish. It's just a shimmer swimmer or the something. I'm gonna go. Whoa, we broke off our braid. I have never ever had that happen. I can't even find the end of it. There. Locate it. Man, I feel bad that that went in the water. There it is. Got it. I've never had, ever, had lines snap on a cast like that. But I normally, I have been running prior to this to see if I can, I might throw in something with a treble and see if I can bring that in. I can see the line floating. I've got that knuckle bait. That'd actually probably be a good one to try and catch that line on and pull it in. So we will probably do that before it gets saturated and sinks. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's sunk. Nope, I can see some of it. See if we can pull on our line and hook. Get tangled up in there real good. Come on. I hate that. I really do. I don't like leaving line out there, and that's a lot of line. Let's tie on a square bill and run it across there a few times. Get those treble hooks in that square bill. We might catch it up and tangle it. Knots are not my thing. As you can tell by how long it takes me to tie this knot. I'm not a... Ouchies. 
anything close to a master knot tire. Okay, this is 17 pound mono. The Olden Stream brand, it was on sale. I got 300 yards for like two bucks and it's kind of garbage so far. See, see, a lot of memory in this line, a lot of it. Look at that, it just keeps, there we go. Just keeps on spooling. We might have to give up on trying to get that line in. It's already sunk. And that braid saturated and sunk as well. Unless a fish picked it up and took off with it. In which case, I'm sorry, buddy. Don't like that. Persistence. Check it out. We did it. Did it, guys. Let's see how he tangled up in here to be able to drag it in. Okay. Hooked over the line and then through the trebles. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. If you guys can see, see here what happened when we um, ran it through the it was on the bottom right and you can see the little braid got tangled up on the square bill on the line tie and then got down into the trebles as it ran now I'm able to pull it off nice and slow and we got our hook and line out of the water this bump okay we're gonna keep throwing this guy. Beautiful. It's a pretty color. This ghost gill, this is a Guggen Squad banger in the ghost gill color. Looks good though. Good color. All right. Here, and we're gonna tie on something on Mr. Baitcaster here. We're gonna go ahead and snap those appendages apart. Slide this guy up, spin him around.
better appreciation for this lure, for this soft plastic, as I see it in that setting versus um, how I've seen it before. If that makes sense. All right, we're gonna pack up. We're gonna move around the pond the other direction, parallel to the other angle. So we're not in his way. Oh. The other angler must not have had any luck either. He's heading out. Time check. 3.45. Been here in about an hour, probably. Someone I'm gonna check. 47 minutes, been here 47 minutes. All right, time to make a move. Keep moving. Before we leave, we gotta try it, tie in that giant Texas rig. Or jig, I might throw it on a jig. And get it way down there to the bottom. And we're back. I might actually use a swim bait hook to get it down on its belly. Is that stupid? Have more weight than I've got? Pretty decent bullet weight here. I've got a big old worm hook. Let's do that. Let's do the big old bullet weight and the big old worm hook. I feel kind of ridiculous tying this on. All right, check that guy out. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Check that cast out though, the weight on that thing. Watch, I'll get hooked up first cast. Is that the secret? Speaking it into existence? No, I don't ex exactly actually expect to get hooked up on this thing, but I'm not gonna be mad if it happens. We'll start throwing bigger baits. <laughs> I'm gonna tie on that big old swim bait. Looks good in the water. Looks like a snake to me. 